Gigantic heat sinks aren't really in fashion anymore, but Reven makes a compelling argument. Howdy howdy guys, Ponchato here, and today we're going to take a look at the Reven Arano CPU cooler. Thanks to Reven for sending this over for review, and let's get started. The Aranos was released quite a while ago, back in 2014, and goes for around 60 US dollars. It's compatible with LGA 1151, 2066, and AM4, though you'll have to contact Reven to get a free AM4 upgrade kit. The Aranos is pretty big at 161 millimeters tall, so it won't fit into particularly tight micro ATX cases. And though Reven doesn't rate it for a specific TDP, I'd estimate it can handle probably around 180 watts. It comes with one 140 millimeter fan rated for 300 to 1700 RPM, which utilizes a sleeve bearing. It does come with a little PWM extension cable, which limits the RPM to about 1300, though I can't really think of a use for this unless you're working with a really old motherboard that doesn't allow any kind of fan control. It also includes clips for a second fan in push-pull if you want to go that route. And as long as you don't install it backwards like I did, the fan will fit completely behind the RAM slots. The heat pipes are offset toward the back, so the fan fits completely inside the footprint of the CPU socket. Basically, memory clearance isn't an issue with the Aranos. Now let's take a look at installation. The first step is to put the backplate screws into the backplate. Next we'll put the washers over the backplate screws. Next we'll stick the backplate on the back of the motherboard. Now we put four nylon spacers onto the back plate screws. Next we set the top plate onto the back plate screws and then tighten it down with the included nuts. And they include a funny little wrench thing to make sure they're fully tightened. There it goes. And now we'll put a dab of the thermal grease in the center of the processor. Next, we'll stick the heatsink. Next, we'll stick the crossbar on. Tighten down a little bit. With that in place, we'll get the fan installed. First, we'll get the fan clips mounted on the fan, then we'll line it up, stick it on. With the fan installed, the last step is to plug in the PWM header. Ready to go. With installation covered, let's look at the results. My test bench is a Ryzen 3 1200 overclocked to 4.1 gigahertz at 1.35 volts with a passively cooled GT 1030 and Seasonic Focus Plus power supply. Since the 1030 and Focus Plus can both run passive cooling, the only noise coming from the system is from the CPU cooler itself. Load temperatures are taken with Prime 95 running and temperatures are reported as deltas, degrees above ambient. First up, idle performance. This is with no programs running and the fans at their minimum RPM. The Aranos does hit below 30 decibels, so it does achieve the essentially inaudible mark, which is something I always look for in coolers. At around 300 RPM, you pretty much won't be able to hear it unless you're in a completely silent room with no other fans, no hard drives, and no other sources of noise. Next, we'll look at load performance. This is with the fans at max RPM and Prime 95 running to show the upper end of cooling performance. The Aranos is very similar to the much larger dual tower Scythe Fuma, only slightly behind in temperature and two decibels louder. It also runs cooler than the more expensive Dark Rock 4, though that comes with quite a bit more noise. Now here's the noise versus temperature graph which shows the cooler's performance over its full range of RPM. Being such a big cooler with such a large fan, the Aranos performs admirably here. In fact, you can see it very closely mirrors the dual tower Scythe Fuma, basically only separated by a degree or so. You can also see the huge performance cost of knocking out those last few decibels to make it silent. The temperature delta jumps more than 10 degrees just to drop 2 dB from 31.5 to 29.5. That's not a knock on the Aranos. Every cooler is like that and it's just something to keep in mind when setting your fan curves. Next, here are my cooler scores, a combined rating of temperature and noise. The Aranos comes out close to the top here, only trailing by about one point behind the competition. In short, this is a high quality cooler both in terms of noise and temperature performance. Finally, cooler score per dollar to show price to performance. The Aranos doesn't fare as well here because of its relatively high price tag. $60 is pretty steep for a single fan tower cooler, though it does match the performance of dual tower coolers in a much slimmer package. 
If space is at a premium, the Aranos might be exactly what you need. Overall, the Aranos performs quite well. Because the fan can run at 300 RPM, it can be essentially silent under low load. And having a 140 millimeter fan that can ramp up to 1700 RPM really opens up the cooling at the upper end. The installation is straightforward and other than installing it backwards, which to be completely fair is my fault, I didn't have any issues. A lot of other coolers have steps in their installation process where it's just like, who signed off on this? But Reven didn't do that here. It's big, but it's easy to install. I like that. So if you're looking for a tower cooler with performance close to that of a dual tower, or you just want a big, bold stack of metal for your PC, definitely check out the Reven Aranos. If you want to pick up an Aranos for yourself, click the link in the description. Hit subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified of new videos as soon as they're up. So guys, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. And if you have any questions on the Reven Aranos, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I hope I helped and I'll see you in the next video.